Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is going to be another day of working on BMW E32 750IL, amazing V12 car, amazing machine, uh, super sophisticated, super legendary car. Um, today we're going to be doing a car wash on this thing and also have to find out uh, or just work on a couple of electrical issues on this car. This car has a brand new battery but there's a parasitic draw somewhere and I suspect that there's something with the power windows could be or something else so we have to figure that out and also cigarette lighter is shorted out. It's not working properly so every time when you put the fuse in the fuse just blows like crazy. <laughs> Uh, so I have to figure that out and a couple more things uh, radio is not working because uh, we need to find out the radio code I have to pull the radio to find the serial number of the radio And then I have to call the dealership and ask them about the radio uh, code and So we have to do that as well All right, guys, next thing that I'm doing is um, I have to pull the radio out and um, in order because I have to find out the radio code. I'm not sure about the radio code. We need the radio code. So uh, hopefully after install or, uh, you know, put in the radio code, it's working, hopefully. And then another thing I'm working on is that, um, you know, every time I would plug something in here or no, every time. So this is, I think. I haven't looked at the, uh, you know, in the diag. Uh, I haven't looked up the wiring schematic for this car, but this is a cigarette lighter, and the problem with that is that every time you put that 30 amp fuse in there, uh, it just blows right away, and um, you know, this is probably like this is the first thing I usually check, you know, to make sure there's no coins in there or anything like that. Uh, I pulled everything out, pulled the ashtray and all that stuff, um, and. Uh, what I noticed, it's pretty crazy, is that I don't know where this piece of wire came from, all right? But this piece of wire was literally stuck inside. It was stuck inside right over there. And it was causing the short. So right now, hopefully, that's it. I'm going to try to see if my, you know, if I install the fuse and it doesn't blow anymore, hopefully. And then if that's all good, that means it's all fixed. I can put it all back together. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. A small piece of wire was stuck in there and it was literally shorting everything out and from on this car it seems like uh, uh the cigarette lighter has a constant power so you don't have to turn the key on in order like if you want to like charge your phone or something i need to pull the radio in order to find uh the serial number on it because when i call the dealers dealership they didn't <clears throat> they only wanted the serial number they did not want to uh try to look up um you know the radio code just by the vin number uh, which sucks mercedes does it differently mercedes literally you call the dealership you tell them your vin number and mercedes will give you the radio code uh, maybe bmws are different so i have to pull this radio out to find out the serial number one eternity later well, let's see if that works Haha! -ha. Yeah, so the radio is on, but we have nothing here. So we have more issues. Oh, the radio is on though. Guys, there she is. Uh, I almost finished washing it, just have to do a couple more rinses. But this car is very nice right now. It's all cleaned up. Like I said, just have to rinse it one more time. But uh, this, is, this is such a beautiful car right now. Please don't pay attention to the wheels. These wheels will be getting changed very soon. We're planning to get new tires for it. And it will have the same wheels pretty much like this car has. Uh, and it's gonna look really good and awesome because right now these wheels are kind of bad the fronts are 17 these are 16 but the, the car doesn't drive well with these wheels so we're definitely changing them but other than that this car is so beautiful uh, cleaned up really awesome really like this thing so here's a plug from a cigarette lighter and I'm by bypassing it right now by just installing the um, 
test light as you can see everything is good uh nothing blew the fuse didn't blow everything is amazing so we have a problem with the cigarette lighter itself and when i installed that fuse um after you know taking that wire like extra wire that was there um away uh, the fuse blew so i started checking more things out and um disassembled a couple more things so anyways I'm gonna go work on that cigarette lighter and then we'll come back. As far as the radio, the radio is working. Um, the only problem is that I think we have a problem with uh, uh, an amplifier because the sound is only coming from the back. But it's it's being really weird. So I think something is wrong with the amplifier. Uh, so I'll keep checking on that, but the radio is okay. Found out the code for the radio, everything is good. Here's that socket guys, that's problematic and causing a short. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, do a couple of things to it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure it's all good. All right guys, this is the next day. I actually figured out the problem. Here's the socket, all right, here's the cigarette lighter socket. So uh, it was actually shorted out and I measured it with uh, my multimeter as well. Anyways, so what I had to do, if you look at this, I don't know, this looks like a some kind of like a sealant or something. But anyways, there's a prong right there. As you can see, it's like flattened out right now. That prong used to be shorted out. So it used to kind of touch the other metal and then it, it would cause a short. So right now I bent it back and we should not have any more short. And I'll show you right now that when I touch these two with my multimeter, uh, they're gonna be showing no continuity, which that's what you're supposed to do. Then when I put uh, uh, something in here, like a charger, it should be a continuity. There she is, guys. Super beautiful car, amazing machine. There's lots of plans with this car. Like I said, uh, we're gonna put some different uh, wheels on it with brand new tires. The owner is currently waiting, so he's gonna do that. But other, other than that, I washed this car today. It's uh, looking amazing, really pretty. Uh, super nice car and there's a couple more things I have to do to it um, and the future we're gonna have to do some maintenance like suspension work all that stuff but as of right now everything is amazing as you know if you watched my previous video about this car you know that this car re received quite long diagnostic uh, procedures from myself but we gave this car all the love and right now it's we got to put a little bit more love to it to make it all roadworthy and reliable great car all right guys this is gonna be the best way i'm gonna show it to you multimeter is connected right there so it's showing ol so there's no continuity now as soon as i press this okay it shows continuity release no continuity then i'm gonna press continuity release nothing Press, continuity, release. So I'm gonna install it on the car. My main thing is, like I said, uh, when when nothing was inside of here, so let's say, take this out, nothing was inside. I had continuity, which you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to have continuity when there's nothing in there. Uh, so that's what was causing all the problems and the fuse. The fuse is blowing so this is one of the fuses that was in there as you can see just blew crazy it's a 30 amp fuse that's what it's supposed to be in there anyways so i'm gonna install this back on the car now i'm gonna see how it works it's so nice even old school bmws used to mark their fuses so fuse 26 uh is gonna be for the cigarette lighter um it's actually right there fuse 26 so fuse 26 is right there it's not blown and i'll show you uh, i connected the cigarette lighter already there's the cigarette lighter connected and it's right over here guys so it's amazing it's a zero dollar fix just a little bit of labor but that's about it uh zero dollar fix otherwise so we're gonna go ahead and try to see uh, if our charger is working and other stuff that we plug into this guy and then i don't know what this wire is it was just taped up right here it's it's for something else probably but i'm not worried about that right now 
we were just worried about mainly the radio and this bad boy. Now I can start putting everything back together. So the battery was charged up. It had about 12.5 volts when I left yesterday. However, today the battery is low again. Uh, try to connect this. Shows to a 10.5, whatever, 10 something, yeah. So uh, the battery is discharged again. And what I did is actually disconnected those two modules right there, uh, but that still did not help. Uh, there's still another drain somewhere. It's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna have to unplug this negative cable. I'm gonna have to put a, an amp clamp on it, or not an amp clamp, but I'm just gonna put it in series with uh you know with this multimeter and we can we have to start pulling fuses to figure out where else is the drain all right everything is connected here i just want to check to make sure it's all good now look at that the light lights up everything is amazing it's charging and this one actually the cigarette lighter has constant 12 volt power so you don't need a key for that Amazing. I'm measuring parasitic draw, guys. Connected to my multimeter, 10 amp. I have 0 0.3 of a draw. That's too much. Should be 0 0.025 is usually the max allowable, but this one is way too much, 0 0.3. I reconnected those two modules, RM and GM modules, and uh, this is what I get usually. Sometimes it jumps around, but uh, those modules are bad, but I'm gonna be starting to pull fuses, and you gotta make sure that no of the none of the lights are working, and uh, you know everything is off. Obviously, when you're measuring the parasitic draw, um, but as you can see, like when I close this door, nothing actually happens. There's no change in the multimeter, so that's why I have the door open and the hood. But make sure all these lights are off when you're doing your test. But uh, long story short, guys, yeah, literally, I just disconnected the negative of the battery right there. And then connect it to the multimeter and then it goes back right here to the battery um negative the battery and i have a big draw 